Hey everyone, it's Kristen, and today's the day. Today's the day I get to open, it's right here, the package that has been sent to me from Tiffany from Southern Gals Designs. Now, we started last week a four-part series called Bite My Palette. It's an art journal collaboration focused on color palettes. And last week, Tiffany created a bunch of things to send to me, and I did the same to her. So, I get to open it with you today, and as you can see, I cut it just enough so that I wouldn't be a fool opening this on camera. So I'm gonna open it and I will say, I watched the video. Now I wasn't going to watch her video, I was gonna wait until I open everything in its entirety, but then that lasted 10 minutes. So, I haven't seen everything, I know there are some surprises in here, and I cannot wait to open it and to start playing with it. I've also created an art journal in the same exact style that I created for Tiffany last week. She may not use it, I might not use it depending upon what's in here, but the thought process was we have three weeks left to play with our materials, and I have three layouts right here. So that's what's happening. Let's open this package together and play. As always, thanks for coming along. Okay, here we go. I'm so excited. Thank you, Tiffany. See, we're inside now. Okay, <laughs> let's do this. Oh my goodness. Well, right off the bat, look at this feather. <gasps> okay. Look at this. I am definitely using this, Tiffany. Thank you. This is so cool. Okay, we have some fabric that looks like it's a rust dye. Tell me if I'm wrong, Tiffany. Um, I probably am. <laughs> very, very excited. We will use that for sure. Look at all these little pieces. See, she has the most, I think I called it in the last video, glamorous grunge or grunge glamour. I think it's appropriate because all of these beautiful colors, look at that pop of hot pink. And when I think of Tiffany's palette, that is what I think of. I think of all of this beautiful rusted materials, these grunge, these really, um, I don't know, materials that look like they've been around a bit, as well as teal and bright pops of pink. That's what I think of. But we will see, so far, loving that so, so much. And look what we have here. I wonder what this is. It looks like drafting paper. Could it be drafting paper? Very cool. All right, I don't want to tear it up. Let me see. If I can go like this, I can avoid any tearing. Although we'll probably end up tearing bits and pieces off anyway just to use it in our journal. But I'm giddy. I'm giddy, Tiffany. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, don't make me mad paper. Plastic paper, not this special paper. Okay, well, I'm gonna keep it there for now. And I will work out, oh, there we go. There's the little face I have been thinking about since I saw it. I can't wait to see how I can incorporate this lovely image. Okay, I'll take it out. <laughs> I'm staring at it. I just. If you know me in real life, I clap when I'm very excited in a weird, awkward way. So there's my weird, awkward clap, and this is the piece I've been dreaming about. How can I incorporate this in a way that speaks to both Tiffany and me? Because that's the true nature of a collab, right? This really makes me all kinds of happy. And see those pops of bright pink right there? Love those cheeks, love that touch of yellow or ochre under the eye. It really makes such a difference. It gives an instant sort of shading pop. We have some here. Okay, I'm in love. Thank you! Bits and pieces, oh my. Gorgeous. Yes, see, this is what I think. I don't know, ooh, look at that. Some sort of eco dye. I'm probably calling it all kinds of wrong. You guys tell me if you know exactly what this is. Love it so very much. Look at this. Okay, I wonder if it was some sort of a architectural, it's a blueprint of some sort. That's really cool. I've always wanted to work with that. The other thing I've always wanted to work with that I've never just gotten, I've never found, I've never, it's braille paper. So, I don't know. 
little piece of information there you didn't ask for. This is, at, ooh, look at it. Look, ooh, look, it's shiny. Ooh, look, a deer. I love this so much. I think we saw her make this one. Love the shimmer against that mat and how would they pop next to each other. Ooh, staples. Okay, this is going to be so much fun. Oh, and we watched her create this and just the texture alone. I mean, it's there's just so much depth and detail. It's so rich. I am very excited, Miss Tiffany. Look at this. Love the black here. And this is the letter she was talking about. I'm gonna read it. As I said before, you're a sweet girl, honey. I wish I was there. Aw. Look, we have more. Oh, very, very, very cool. Look at her in her pink on her paper. So cute. Oh, look at that. Ooh. <laughs> look at all of these bits and bobs tissue paper. Love that. Love that. Very, very clever. This is going to be fun to layer with. Nice going, Miss Tiffany. Love, 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 love. Look at this. I love the little detail here. Just just this simple little detail. How she has the pencil mark within the other mark making of the teal. Really brings your eye to it. Uh, grungy goodness. Look at this. Oh, she said she might put this palette in and she did. And it makes me extra happy. Look at that. And the shimmer. Love the black. All of the things I sent to her were very, very bold, but I do expect her to incorporate, or expect that she would incorporate whites and blacks and more neutral colors to bring that down. And she's done it so beautifully here. So she's used these darker colors in combination with these bold pops, and it just makes everything sing. I love it. I almost started singing. <laughs> You're welcome. I didn't. <laughs> Ooh, ooh, I love how there's just this little, I'm a piece of paper and a piece of fabric and I'm stapled together. Love that. Ooh, this is gorgeous. Look at that, Monday night. This is really special. Oh, and some bright white paper. Okay, Tiffany. Challenge accepted. I am so excited to play with all of these goodies. Thank you very much. And thank you guys all for watching. Let's see what we can do with all of this magnificence. <laughs> Wish me luck. Okay, now we get to start, and I knew that it was going to be with one of those girls she created for me. Now, I watched the video last week, and I love this lady right here. I love her big pink cheeks. That color will come into play in a moment. And I love the raw expression she has, the little glance over to the right. So I thought, since we two girls are coming together, how about a character on our first page that comes together as well? So I wanted to create something that was also rather raw and hopefully emotive and looking over to her as she is now looking over to me. So I've decided to pull out a pen and not allow myself any pencil marks. I didn't want to be perfect. I didn't want to create something that was precious on such a cool, rough, grungy background. So I decided to just go for it with the pen and start scribbling away so that I have a little girl right beside hers. Our sketch is now done. I'll set her aside and start to work on that background. I'm going to use Liquitex Gesso and do a little finger painting. Now I'm doing this for a reason. I don't want an even consistency on this background paper. So if I use my fingers and put gesso in bits and places, when I end up adding that 
ink, which is a Bria Reese watercolor ink on top, you'll notice that there are some places where it hits really smooth and some places where it looks really rough and distressed. Wherever I had the gesso, it's going to be smooth, and wherever I didn't, it's going to grab onto that paper a little bit more and give a distressed look. Really kind of like it, so I'll go from here into a little bit of something extra with a little bit of liquid glitter. We're dry now. You can see that liquid glitter dancing in the light. And now I'm separating all of these beautiful materials into categories. I'm putting the letters with the letters, the tissue paper with the tissue paper, and I'm going to determine exactly what to use on this background. Well, I know I love those letters. And you see that blue on the letter in the right? I have something similar in my Jane Davenport Brights palette. So I'm gonna take that out and I'm gonna add some of that beautiful blue that she's already got going on in the letter to my background. I'll eventually then add the letter to this page and I want them to really be able to blend in together. Here it comes, the incredibly intimidating part, and it's happening right now, ripping into somebody else's work. Now I know I had to do it, and I know that's what I'm supposed to do. It's a collab. She sent me these things to play with, but it is very intimidating. I don't want to mess anything up. She sent me this beautiful material. I want to do it justice. As a matter of fact, this whole page was intimidating for that very reason. You want to honor the materials that are sent. You want to do something that would complement them. You also want to have it in your style and you want to honor their style. So this first ripping, I eventually just had to say, okay, you can do it. It's still beautiful ripped. So I'm starting with the letters. I'm gluing on bits and pieces here and there, and I'm getting over my intimidation. I did it. I have bits and pieces on the page, and now it's time to glue down Tiffany's figure. I'm going to put that on the left side of the spread, and I know I'm going to put my girl somewhere over there on the other side of the spread so that we can look to each other figure to figure. But what I don't want to do is monopolize the page with my image. I want hers to be the star. I'm not exactly sure how to go about doing that. So for now, I'll set it aside and start using some of this lovely tissue paper. I love the fact that I'll be able to see that pink background through it. So I've decided to rip a little bit of that off so there's no harsh edge, and I'll be gluing that down in between both pages.
I figured it out. How about using this scrap of fabric, which I wanted to figure out how to use on this page anyway, as a way to hide my image from hers. So instead of applying my image directly onto the other page, we'll use this scrap and fold it over the face so that it's secretly there. We know it's there. When we open the book and open that, it will be there, but it won't be glaringly obvious from the start. It will be behind a piece of fabric that will complement everything else we've got going on so far. So that's what I'm going for. I've attached my girl to the piece of fabric. I'm now tearing it off so that you still see the fabric fringe that I didn't glue over that entirely. And eventually I will place this into the center of the page. But before I do that, I wanna add a little bit more warmth to the page. So I've pulled out some walnut ink crystals. Now this is like sand almost. You sprinkle it on the page and then you can add water to it and it becomes, as you see here, instant grunge. I wanted a little something extra because my background felt a little incomplete. It felt as if it was too stark of a contrast between the pieces that I applied that Tiffany sent me and that more subtle background of just the blue and pink. I wanted to add a little bit more, but when I did that, I ended up disliking the way it turned out. It felt too grunge to me, and it was taking away from everything else, including that beautiful face of Tiffany's. So now you'll see me knocking it back. I've taken out a brush at this point, I've got gesso, and I'm going to add white throughout both pages to just kind of make it a little bit more subtle in the background. But when I did that, I lost a lot of what I wanted. So you'll eventually see me take another step and pull out that blue from Jane Davenport's watercolor set and add a little bit more to the page. Okay, we've added our grunge and then knocked it back, added a little more, knocked it back, added blue paint, a little glitter, and here we are. And I thought we should also incorporate a few more pieces of collage so that they stand out in the way that they did before we started manipulating the background so much. So I'm going to add a few bits and pieces here and there before going on to add that fabric flap. It's flap time. But before I adhere it to the page, I want to add just a little detail to the corner. So I've taken a little bit of pink embroidery thread, it matches those cheeks, and I'm going to do a little faux sewing. What I mean by that is typically, I would sew this flap directly into the art journal. But seeing as how this art journal is really only three pages, I don't want to put holes in the center of the book. I don't want to put holes in page two. So instead, I'm just cheating it a little, adding a little detail, taping it off to the back, and then I will put it into the page. But before I do, one final sentiment, which I absolutely loved from a piece of that letter that Tiffany gave me. I'm going to put that on the front, before I finish everything off. Thank you guys for joining us. I have to say, this has been so much fun. I loved watching Tiffany's video last week. I loved reading and hearing all of your responses. I love the fact that you love us together and I'm enjoying myself immensely. So thank you for joining me. Thank you for joining Tiffany. If you haven't seen her video already, do check that out. I cannot wait to see what she does with all of those painted papers. I'm headed there right now. I'll see you guys next week for page two of Bite My Palette.